Re -re okay, now we're recording. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. We're back after a day of rest. <laughs> well, oh, those are really pretty. Yep. These. Little look like wild violets. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, see them all over. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to show you something up here. I like this one. It's more lavender and white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It was a... Um, <laughs> Excuse me. I did film yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was a... <laughs> yesterday and today was a day. We've, I, the struggle is real right now. <laughs> I am slammed with work right now, like my, my day job. And then I'm slammed with my extracurricular job right now, too. <laughs> which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Um, but, you know, when you're trying to get everything up and running and set up, the brain doesn't necessarily always connect all the pieces. So I was so excited. I was sharing with you guys all the peepers. We were filming around the pond. I just forgot to turn on the, the volume. The microphone. Yeah. So it was just me going. <laughs> and then going. <laughs> so that's why we didn't post yeah uh i didn't want to film yesterday because i had a really stressful day surrounding the dogs took levi in at the vet and that's always just a deal and so and the day started out not so great before that so i was just like i'm just i'm just exhausted i really don't want to film so katie's like i'll do it myself and yeah. then forgot to do the you know, uh, the microphone w one of the most important things Turning on the camera, turning on the microphone. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to show you was, look at this right here. Is that another peach tree? It's another peach tree. Uh -huh. We have two peach trees in a row. Ooh. Right Means over here. Means they'll pollinate each other. Yeah. Cross pollination. Yeah, so there's this one. And it's pretty well established. It's a pretty good, it's probably, it's probably circumference wise, like five inches around, but say two and a half, two inches thick. Well, that's very exciting. That is really exciting. I and, love peaches. And I, um, I took multiple pictures mm -hmm. of this with the app, multiple different Hi, angles okay. and everything. And every time it came up as a peach. A lot of our viewers commented on the last time you showed it that it was a peach There's tree. A peach tree? Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that means we have two peach trees, at least two peach, tree, peach trees on the property up here by the gray barn. That's so exciting. It really is exciting. And so we'll have to mark it so that way we don't ever cut them down yeah. when we're in here doing work. When they're not blooming and it's not obvious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cause it'd be, oh, that's a little tree. Let's just take it out. Right. Yeah, as you're not even really paying attention. So the other one is right oh, over here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's way smaller. It's a lot smaller. Huh. Yeah. It, they must have gotten cut back at some point. Yeah, so here's the here's the tiny one. It's, I mean, it's And it's got it's a lot little. of new growth coming off it's of it. Little. That's great. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Oh, that's ex so exciting. It really is exciting. <laughs> yeah. And up these up here, a really little dead up there. But. And then over, so I was over here looking and I was like, all right, well, are there any other, yeah, exactly. <laughs> are there any <laughs> other ones? Yeah. I was looking and looking, looking. Oh, and did you find another one? And then I saw this white one over here. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, I think we've seen this one before. Yep. So this white one. The vines are trying to take it over. Yeah. But this one came up as a pear tree. Oh, not a Bradford. But it's a Bradford pear Dang tree. Dang it. Is that what that one is too? That's, that's what that big one over there is. It's a big Bradford pear. I can I was going to say something smells, so. Yep. Those are the most disgusting smelling flower. Oh, really? Yeah, they smell like fish. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that is awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's They're, in my nose. Yep. <laughs> oh, that doesn't. It smells like a most like Fish oil. Fire. Yeah, like fish oil. It's not good. That's what I, I thought somebody was joking when they said that. They're like, they're gorgeous, they're pretty, they're invasive, they're horrible trees. And oh, by the way, while they look beautiful, they smell like fish. <laughs> like, but I've never been close enough to smell one. Why did I do that? Ooh, it's in my nose. <laughs> yeah. So. This is disgusting. Here, smell it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's a big. <laughs> it's beautiful. Grove. I mean, it's so pretty. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, that's crazy. We didn't think we ones. had any. We know we had that one big one at the at the driveway. Right. We thought we just had the one. Yep. And now we're seeing more. Oh, and there's another one over at the edge of the. Oh yeah, I see that barn. one too. Who were, we were talking to that couple that we were looking at sheep with, mm -hmm. and they said that the Bradford pair, their sheep loved them. Oh, interesting. Do you remember that? Like the pairs themselves? No, or? The, like the foliage, and oh, I think that nice. they they had a whole bunch that were small enough that they would... Um, Kill it off? No, uh, mow pour, it, mow like it mow it down. <laughs> hey it. <laughs> oh, it's that, been a day, y'all. That that. The humans, would, the humans would hay it for the sheep to eat. Yes. Oh, I see. Like, or they would go and the sheep would eat as far up into the tree as they possibly could. Interesting. So I wonder yeah, if really... they would. Yeah. Because ours didn't, I mean, ours ate some stuff. They probably liked poplar the best. Oh, they loved the. Uh, that was probably their favorite the tree. Tulip poplar. Mm -hmm. I think Levi wants to go. It looks like he may want to go for a little walkie walk down there. You want to go for a walk? Yeah, it's much cooler. It's like 80 something degrees here today. Yeah, ridiculous end of winter weather. Yeah, it's a, uh, I was on a call with somebody today and she's like, oh my gosh, you know how when you're typing and your fingers are so frozen? She's like, I have the heater on and I have a blanket and I'm like, I'm in an RV and I'm sweating. It's 80 something degrees. It's like 84 degrees inside the RV. You come, come on, buddy. You coming, Winston? Winston, let's go. He's very cautious about these. Yeah, and he's also really hot. Yeah. Poor guy still has his, all of his double coat. His coat, yeah. And it's, It'll be much cooler inside of here. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll find another peach tree as we're, as we're wandering around. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Hey, sweet boy. So yesterday, uh, we, we had told you guys about whenever we take one of the dogs to the vet, when we come back, there's always like little fighting that goes on. And not like drawing blood fighting, but no. enough to where it's just, it's really uncomfortable for us to watch. Re-establishing the dom. It's like, yeah. it's very, I mean, it's normal behavior, I think, for two males, but... Yeah, we don't just, enjoy it. I really don't like it. Um, I think some of you suggested taking both, so they're both at the vet at the same time. They both come home and they'll, you know, not have to do that. That's just way too much work to do to do that. So yesterday, what I ended up doing, I'm going to turn the camera around and just tell you, what I ended up doing was when we got home with Levi, Levi, Levi Katie kept a hold of Winston kept him occupied. I took Levi and stayed in the sheep paddock here with Levi for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And, and Winston, he was getting treats and he was being told he was a good boy and we were doing some training, some sit and some down and some come. So trying to keep him completely occupied and his attention on me. Yeah. And then after that, um, Levi, Levi and I were sitting at the gate that's over there Ouch. and had water, had his food, and we were just hanging out. And Winston came over on the other side of the gate and he just laid down. And we stayed there for about five minutes. And as soon as Winston lost interest and started getting up and walking away, I opened the gate and let them both be with each other. And there's a little bit of sniffing and Winston was kind of staying by his side, but there was no aggression. There was no... Mm -hmm. It was just, all right, we're back and let's just continue on as normal. He's like, where, why were you back with the sheep and I wasn't? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so it could be that there's, that the real issue is when Winston is gone and comes back mm. versus when Levi is gone and comes back. But either way, I think that's the, the strategy we're going to do is just have them separated for 30 minutes to, to an hour after coming back on the homestead and then letting them, uh, get together after that yeah because a lot of times i'm still working or oh, I'm oh right. she got another yeah, one i don't want her to have um one. so it's not possible for both of us to be in the car and if something was to happen in the back seat uh -uh, drop it good girl we don't want to have to worry about nate driving and having two dogs in the back oh, yeah, that's, so that's it's just, just that's just too much for me yeah so it's hard enough getting <laughs> getting one in the truck, yeah, let, let alone, alone both, both yeah. and then getting one out of the truck and then getting one 
through the doors of the bed office, it's just too much. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so. Hi, buddy. Are you extra difficult oh, sometimes? Oh, so today, so going on about, it's been kind of one of those 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 days, yesterday and today. Hi, uh, this morning, I took a, just a, a truckload, a bed load of construction material to the dump. And that's because I was running out of room in the uh, trailer that we have, and I didn't want to add more into it. So I was like, I, I need to make space, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a bunch of material. Um, I'm kind of trying to tell Katie the story too. I'm listening. Okay, a bunch of the material to the dump and drop it off. Which you is only good. took the truck bed. You didn't take I, the trailer. I, no, I did not want to deal with the trailer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm working my way up into that, <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't because I just wasn't quite really prepared to do all that. So anyway, I got the, uh, I got it, the bed filled, took it to the dump. That was no issue. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna be in town anyway, so let's return a couple things. Um, the bone saws that we ordered for the processing, they ended up not working very well. So we had a return on those. So I brought those to return. And then the Blue Eddy that I use, the AC200P that I use all the time, it needs some work done on it. Done on it. It's under warranty. And uh, they gave me a return an RMA label for it, so that way I can send it in for repair. Well, so I get to UPS, mm -hmm. and it turns out the shipping label from Blue Eddy is for FedEx. Oh, geez. Okay, well, that's dumb. <laughs> and then it turns out that the return items, the bone saws, are a you pack it and then scan the barcode. So I didn't even pack the things, because usually when it's oh. an Amazon return, yeah, it's you a just scan the code. You no box, the no item. label. Yeah, and then they take it. Yeah. But no, this was a self pack. Oh shoot. Ah, uh, so that didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> That's like artist. Then while he's gone. Oh yeah. I'm texting because. Well, as I'm oh. gone, the first thing was internet went out. Yeah, internet okay. went out. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Is well, it was all the power. Or no, it was just no, internet. At first, it was so. Time. This was as I was. Uh, lining up to be on the scale for at the dump, you're you and I are texting because yep, no. the internet had gone down, mm -hmm. and so I'm on text or I'm on chat message with tech support of uh, Comcast or Xfinity trying to get that resolved. Yeah, got that resolved, and then as I'm on my way back to the homestead, Katie texts <laughs> me, goes, Power's out, and so power for the entire like neighborhood yeah. went out. Three times. Three times. In probably what, an hour and a half? It, yeah, I would say within about a two hour period. And it's like, it would come back on. I'd finally get, I'd get off my hotspot. I'd get back over onto the regular internet. I'd get hooked back up so I'm not just on my laptop and check the incubators because I have three incubators going right now. Yeah. To make sure. It's cheaper out here. Uh -huh. Everything's, you know, looking okay. And then no sooner than I would send one email or check one thing, and everything would yeah, go so off again. We have, so you guys know that we have the Blue Eddy, the big stack of Blue Eddy that we have mm -hmm. connected to the RV for power outages. Yeah. Except <laughs> just a little while ago, I disconnected it from the RV to try it, to use it for something else. Uh -huh. And I never put it back in place. <laughs> so, we, we didn't have the pleasure of having that as a battery backup because right. it had completely died. It didn't recharge it. But luckily we had our old faithful propane generator, Yeah. little tiny generator, and we were using that and we almost ran out of propane. It started sputtering. <laughs> it really started sputtering. I'm like, mean, Katie, I'm sorry, but you're just not going to have internet access. I know. You're not going to have power. <laughs> and I'm literally leading a call at this point and I can hear it in the background going, doo -doo, doo -doo. And I'm like, okay, everyone, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. Thanks so much. Because <laughs> I'm like waiting for everything just to go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it was a day. <laughs> we realized that what we're saying are our first world problems. Oh, yes. But you know, it, in the moment, it's like, oh, this is a bit much. But it all worked out fine. Yeah. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm just walking, honey. Okay. I really don't know. I'm just showing the sheep. Okay. You know, something different. I'm like, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> I have no agenda.
I like that the sheep are finally down here. Yeah. And not up by the house buying. They have plenty to eat. Oh, they have plenty to eat. Yeah. Absolutely. So. There's lots of new growth happening. Yes. So. Yeah, there's lots of new growth now. Mm-hmm. Spring has sprung. We are hoping that we get one more freeze. Freeze, like Ooh, four or five web. day freeze. That'd be great. Because oh, the flies. The flies oh. and the really kill off those ticks, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, at least break the cycle. Because the flies are so bad right now. We're so thankful we did the processing when we did. Oh my goodness, kid. Yeah. That was the perfect weekend. Yeah. And yeah, couldn't have done it at better timing. I think we saw maybe one or two flies the entire time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It was oh, so such a huge improvement because that can completely ruin your experience. What are you looking at there, Mr. Winnie Boy? <laughs> hmm? Hey, how you doing? It's toasty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> are you looking at how beautiful that is? How calm, nice that looks with the green grass. Oh, hi there. You're about to have a lot of visitors. Oh boy. Are we getting the sheep too? <laughs> <laughs> Here they come. Here come the sheep. Hi, bud. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Oh, you're getting flying Blanche, in your face how are too. you twice as big as the rest of them? You're always so much bigger. Who she is, must. Wait, who's bigger? She must not be as picky. Who? Blanche. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a big girl. She is. If she, I'm hoping, because she's gotten a lot, she's let us get a lot closer to her now that Sophia's no longer around, mm -hmm. which is great. She's not nearly as skittish as she was. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get her shaved and get that cleaned up. Because mm. it gets pretty gross because it's stayed on now for two years. Or it'll be two years this year. Yeah, she doesn't seem to shed as The other two will completely. Because you can see on the sides yeah. of the white ones, you can see that they're shedding and the difference yeah. in their hair. Yeah, so I'm hoping that we can get her at least a little bit closer so I can, cause I can, you can pull it off a little bit. Like Dorothy, I was able to just do this. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm waiting for with the boys. Yeah. Like when I can start doing this in chunks. When you start looking like you got mange, then we're gonna know that it's time to give you a really thorough brush in. You still got yeah, some Yeah, one time. of those high powered hair blowers Blows. that just blow it all off. You know how scared they would be. Oh my gosh, yeah. They would be terrified. <laughs> Levi would never come near you again. And then your husband would complain with all the, the fur the hair everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, he would. It's not a fan. No. Shocking. Yeah. Nate, complain? Well, you know, go never. go out into the field and do it. Just don't <laughs> do it by the house. <laughs> oh man. Hey, you know. Uh huh. Know your audience. Yeah. <laughs> one of these days we'll get to cutting this tree. Which one? Oh, the. Which one? <laughs> when we have our tractor. Yep. Any any updates on that or? Nope. No? Okay. No updates. All right. Come on, guys. Let's, Let's go. keep Pull going. through. Good boy. Oh, good boy. You don't have to hurry. I know it's hot, buds. We All just right. want them. They're coming. They're, oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so cute. Just keep eating. There's nothing to, nothing to see nothing over here, Nothing to see ladies. over here. Look at all this brownness over here. <laughs> well, I'm ready to start removing the um, tongue groove starting tomorrow. I got all this the stuff cleaned up. Floors are empty. There's nothing on them. So it's exciting. That is exciting. It's a long time coming. That was a lot. That was a ridiculous amount of work to get <laughs> to this to point. Get to this point, yeah. Yeah, it's halfway there. Yeah, almost. Because then you got to rip it up and then put it all back. And put it all back. Yeah. I was telling my mom last night. I was like, if I knew how much work there was actually gonna to be to remove the floors and put them back, I probably wouldn't have done it. But now that I'm just like, I'm doing it, and then, uh -huh. you know, you just you just keep going, just keep going, keep going, and you look back, and you're like, wow, that's a lot of work. 
it hasn't been so bad. It's just a lot of work. There's chickens under the porch. Under the, oh, you can yeah. see them underneath the ch -ch -ch yeah. lattice. There's chickens everywhere. There's chickens everywhere. There's chickens everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of chickens, I need to get the eggs out of the broody hens. All right. Okay, we'll let you go. So we can get pecked. Okay, so we can get pecked. So <laughs> we will see you tomorrow for another fun, exciting episode of Keeping It Fair. Yeah, and we have two broody geese. Oh, good. One and two. Too bad we can't move that one inside of a shelter. We could. Or we, we could put a, a shelter over it. We can just put it. one of, like, why don't we, dra babe, this one. Just drag that one over. Okay, you just drag it over? Yep. Yeah. This chicken's like, running for my life. Yeah. <laughs> Bad decision. She's probably really toasty. She's got to be. She's, she does, she's not panting as much. This one. Uh-huh. That one is. There was two of them on it today. Oh, really? Two of them laying up there. Interesting. So. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Kinsley, why are you in the coop? Oh, because there was probably an egg in there. Uh oh. All right. Hi, Fizzles. Frizzle, Frizzles. Hi, ladies. Are you gonna, yep. You're gonna get pecked, aren't you? I am gonna get pecked, and they're a little feisty. Yeah, they both come at you. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm just gonna get pecked. You're fine. Ow, quit it. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> These ones are not fertilized. That's why I don't want them under there. Yeah. But the big ones are. Yeah. I think there's more because oh. I didn't get them yesterday. Oh. So yeah. I might, yeah, I might, I need another hand. How about you? Come on, here we go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you, ow. Ow. Oh, yeah. There, that little one. All right. Sorry. There you go. All done. My apologies. Continue.